Okay, so the last part is I'm going to show you how to upgrade to premium version in Killbot and then use some of the premium features for, for some for our basic editing. So to upgrade to premium features or to premium version of the Killbot, all you need is to come to the top right over here and you can see up, upgrade to premium. You can just click on upgrade to premium. And once you upgrade to premium, these are some of the features that you will have access to increase your productivity, paraphrase more text at once to finish writing faster. So you can put in more text when you upgrade to premium, and then you can have access to all of the modes. For example, in the paraphrasing, you don't have access to the formal, the simple, the creative, the expand and the shorten. But once you upgrade to the premium version, you will have access to all of the modes as accordingly. You can see them, everything is going to be open to you. So you can walk and, and check in everything. And additionally, you don't have access to the plagiarism uh, checker. Okay, you may not be able, you will not be able to check the plagiarism of your document, and it's a very very big setback because you will not be able to do it because you don't have the premium version. So if you upgrade, you'll have access to the plagiarism checker, and you can compare all mode outputs at once. So these are the benefits. Uh, usually at the free plan, you will not be able to have access to the faster processing speed, which at least the average speed is okay. But then you can have much faster processing speed, speed and you can compare modes, you can do plagiarism checker, you can do tone detection, you can do paraphraser history, you can do all that. Okay, so you can just go ahead to upgrade. You can just come to upgrade to Killbot Premium by just clicking on this. And you can have the plans also based on it. You can have um, the annual subscription. If you want to go for the annual subscription is $4.17 per month. If you want to go for the monthly one, uh, you can you'll be charged this. And if you want to go for semi-annual, maybe six months, you can be charged this per month. And if you want to go for one time monthly subscription, it's got, it goes for this. So let's say we are going for this and we'll just do a one time monthly subscription and you have the access to either use your credit or debit card or you can pay with PayPal. For example, in my own case, I'm going to use PayPal to make the payment. I'm going to have to log into my PayPal account and just go ahead quickly and make the payment. Okay, so you can see, thank you, you've received your payment. Your plan is um, monthly subscription, 9.1. So you can see return to co-writer and then you can continue. Now we have made the payment. So let's try to check out some features um, that we may have access to. For example, you can start with the um, paraphraser. Okay, so right now you can see that at the paraphraser, we have all the other features enabled, like the fluency, the formal, the simple. So all you need to test this is you can come back to your text. You can copy any of your text. For example, you can copy this text and then we can come back to the killbot, come back to the killbot and just paste it. Now, this is the standard. If you want to do paraphrasing, you can just click on paraphrase and it's going to paraphrase everything just like so. So this is the normal paraphrase. This is standard version. Now, if you want to have the paraphrasing in a much advanced way, you can go to fluency and it's quickly going to translate, uh, change it to fluency format. You can see everything is now changed and it's the, uh, and it's an advanced one uh, than the standard. Okay. If you want to go to the formal, you can just click on formal and you can see you will have access to the formal one. Okay. It's just going to translate using the formal tone. So you can go ahead and use simple also. Everything is going to be open to you since, since we have now have our premium version. So this is premium and you can see it at the top here. This is premium, Killbot premium. So you can go to creative. You can see all of them have been enabled for you. And if you want, you can do shorten, which you have the paraphrasing to be shortened. Okay, this is now much shorter. It has paraphrased, but in a shorter way. You can have the control over the synonyms, uh, the number. Okay, you can control the synonyms over here and then you can have custom um custom paraphrasing as well if you want to have um you have you can have other custom features you can just go ahead and select make my text sound like um like a ceo or like a student or like a researcher 
you can check the customized feature over here. So this is very, very interesting, especially when you have the premium version, you'll be able to navigate around and do all this. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to use the skill bots to do plagiarism check. You can have this much um, text. You can just copy your text and paste it here. And it's going to help you to check the plagiarism of your text. So for example, I have this, my paper that I've just written this one. And I think it's about 20 pages, yeah, 20 pages. And we equally have 20 pages of plagiarism check. So you can just go ahead and let's say we want to check this. So to check the plagiarism check, you can just go ahead and either copy the text and paste it here. So for example, I may want to reduce the text to maybe 10 pages. Uh, assuming I want to make it 10 pages just to reduce the number of pages. Okay, so let's say I want to check the plagiarism of this page, this paper. Okay, this is a complete paper. And let's say I save it. Okay, so I want to check the plagiarism of this. And I can just come back to my killbot. Uh, select either you copy the text and paste it, or you can just go ahead and upload it as a complete file. So navigate around to wherever you have your text. Assuming I have mine here. I can just cop, uh, upload and we can just give you some seconds to uh, be able to study and then be able to check and see uh, what plagiarism do we have and where and where have we copied and whether the paraphrasing is good or not. This is just an example. Okay, so it has quickly generated that it has detected 17 pages will be used for this scan. Do you want to continue? I can say yes, scan. Okay, so right now you can see the scan has been completed. So you can view a report or you can scan another document. You can just go ahead and see it over here. You can see the score is 95.4%, which is highly, highly plagiarized. So you can just go ahead and view the report over here. So you can see this is the report. Results found 12 uh, scanned. Similarity is 3.9 thousand words. Okay, so you can just go ahead and check. You can see this is highly, highly plagiarized. So the only thing is you need to notice that over here, you can see the sources, the results, okay, where all those things have been found. The similarity is on this paper because actually the paper has been published. So if you like, you can come over here and exclude this source. Okay, so if you exclude the source and you can see everything is now back to normal. Uh, even this paper is my paper. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is my paper as well. So you can check this is also my paper. If you, um, if you want, you can skip any of them. Okay. Exclude. And you can see it's going to reduce because this is uh, my own paper. This advance is also, is also equally my paper. You can exclude. You can see now the plagiarism is now back to 8.9, which is a good match. 365 words similar, including this advance is also is mine. So let me exclude it. So you can go ahead and see um, the reports and wherever it's been plagiarized, you can see this content is being plagiarized. So if you want, you can copy it and paraphrase it with Killbot. So you can see these are some of the key messages or places it has highlighted as being plagiarized. You can see, the, just navigate around to see. So you can go ahead and check out the sources. These are some, some of the sources and where these, um, uh, they are likely uh, document, um, they are likely, uh, the text is likely to come from. So you can see, at the, and I think 6.3 is a great number. Um, you can see 12 uh, results found and 258 similarity in words. And that's very good one. Identical 3.8, um, minor changes 2.6 and omitted words, you can see zero. So you can go ahead and download this and try to see how you can use it. Okay. And you can check another paper if you want. So if you want to download it, you can just come all the way here and just go ahead and download it in PDF and you can go ahead and check the results or you can save it for your own records. And you can just go ahead and recheck another document if you have. So that's how to use it for plagiarism checking. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.
So the next thing I would like to introduce us to is the word counter, which is available also on Qbot. If you want to see the word count, it includes both words and characters. Okay, it can give you the count. You either want to include spaces or you don't want to include spaces. It's going to enable you to know how much words or how much character do you have, including or excluding spaces. So let's say we have some a piece of text. I can copy this text, for example, and then I can come over here. This is the word counter. I can just paste it. And with just mere pasting, you'll be able to see how much of words I have here. So you can see right now I have 129 words, 733. 37 characters, including spaces. And if you don't want to include spaces, you can just disable this. And you can see the word, the character count is now 611, okay? And 129 words. So depending on your own choice, if you want to include or you don't want to include, you can just go ahead and do that. So whatever, uh, this can be extremely helpful because when you look at who are the people that need to find out the word counter, maybe people like students or writers or professionals or students, educators and researchers, Maybe you are writing a paper that suggests that you should limit your word count to 2,000 words or to 3,000 words. By mere copying and pasting all of your content, you'll be able to know directly how many words you have reached and how much do you need to write more or how much less do you need to edit, rewrite your content to suit that particular requirement. So it's available. It's best for even bloggers, people who write blogs for people in freelance uh, setting. So you can be asked to write a, a blog of 2000 words and you can just use this word counter to be able to guide you to be able to write effectively and according to the standard. So if you're a researcher, some journals also equally have it. Yeah, so they, they have that as part of their requirement. So you just make sure you, you learn how to use it. It's very easy and it's completely free. So everything here is available. And so you can just go ahead and try the word count. Once you finish the word counting, if you like, you can edit also from here, be able to reduce the characters. So um, the characters and the words. So you, as you are editing, you'll be able to see the word count either increasing or decreasing accordingly until you reach your perfection or you, until you reach the exact requirement that you are targeting. And once you get to that amount, you can just uh, go ahead and copy this and move it to wherever you want. But for now, this is just a bit about how to use the word counter. You can get to it from through this website. Okay, you can just go uh, for a slash word counter from killbot.com. You can get here and you'll be able to just uh, go ahead and, and paste it. And if you want to add more or you want to bring in more, you can you can go ahead and uh, if you want to bring in another different text, you can go ahead and uh, copy from somewhere again and just come back and paste it again and you could see the word count that you have, including these spaces. Or if you don't want to include, you can also disable that as well. Okay, so this is just a bit about the word counter feature in Killbot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.